All right, second video of the year. How to use the JetStack Cert Manager with EGBCA as an external issuer. I know this is one that we demoed at the community days and it's been a very popular ask. And now we have gotten the video to walk you through how to do the integration. So without further ado, let's hop into the integration. All right, the first thing we're gonna start with here is at our terminal, we're going to SSH up to our Kubernetes host. So we use the connection and then type password. We'll do a little list. We can see the vault directory from the last video. We'll make a new directory for cert manager. Do some good housekeeping, CD into that directory. We're gonna generate our comp file to make a cert for the RA credential we need and we'll generate the key in CSR. We'll cat that out. And now we're gonna head over to the admin web of EGBCA. So we'll go to the web browser and then we're going to go down to roles and access rules and we're going to do add to create a role for the cert manager so ra-cert-manager we'll call it we'll add and then we're going to go to the access rules for our new ra role so we'll click access rules and the role templates we'll use the ra administrators to default that we'll select our sub ca the my pki sub ca1 do our two tls client and server profiles and then we'll scroll down and click save. Then we can go over to the RA web at this point. Actually, oops, sorry, we gotta add the members. Jumping ahead here. We'll select the common name and then we will type in the cert manager dash RA dash zero one. We'll click add and then we can hop over to RA web. So we'll go over to there, select that. We're gonna do make new request. We'll select the RA administrator provided by the user. And then we're gonna hop over to the shell again, select our CSR, so highlight that. Paste it in the CSR field, do the upload button. And then we'll use the name, it's a common name, select that, paste it in the username. There we go. And then we can select the download PEM full chain. So that downloads, we help over the terminal to the second window and we're going to SCP that file up. So we'll set that, send that up with a dot cert extension. That way it's all set to go. And then we're going to return back to our first terminal window. And then we want to take a look at the files we have. And now we're going to cat out the cert file we uploaded because we're going to create the management CA file for that. So we'll select that, cat it out, select the management CA pen blob. There we go. We'll do the vim space management CA dot CRT and paste that blob inside of here. There we go. Cool. Now we're going to create our namespace for cert manager and we're going to add the secret for this cert and key. And then we're going to add the management CA cert is another secret that'll be used for the external issue to connect. Then we'll add the Helm repo, and then we're gonna update the Helm repos. We added the Helm repo for JetStack to deploy Cert Manager. All right, that's good. So let's apply the custom resource definitions for Cert Manager, and then we'll deploy Cert Manager with the Helm chart, and we're deploying version 1.13.3. Then we'll add the Helm repo for the EGBC external issuer for Cert Manager, update the repos again, and then we'll deploy the image tag of 1.3.2, of the external issuer for cert manager. We're gonna create a namespace for PKI rules and now we're gonna add an issuer and then we'll apply that. And then we can describe our issuer that we've just added now. So at this point, this would connect to EGBCA to issue some certs. Next, we're gonna add the cluster issuer. We will apply that. Okay, so now we've got an issuer and a cluster issuer and the first thing we wanna do is issue a cert. So we're gonna issue the cert manually in this one, and then we'll walk through issuing another cert through a certificate object. And lastly, we'll look at deploying a app with a simple deployment YAML that would request a cert through Cert Manager for an ingress. Let's get ready to submit. Actually, we gotta generate a key first since it's elliptic, and then we're gonna make the CSR from that key in the comp file. We'll grab that blob to put it in there, and now we're gonna actually submit the certificate request 
and that should give us a cert when we go to look at it. There we go. So that's a manual issue, and so we can see the requester was admin. And we can describe the object, have our certificate request, and we have a certificate from EGBCA. The next one is where we're going to create that certificate object kind. Apply that. And then we can look at the request there. Now we have the requester from the system at this point. And then we can see it's a certificate from the kind there. Describe that. And what we have too is the secret. And we can look at the secret. And that will have the CA cert, the TLS cert, and the key. All from creating that kind certificate. And lastly, we're going to deploy a sample app now that will go and get the cert. And the key part is a cert manager settings there to point it to our issuer, our EGBC external issuer. Apply that, and then we can look at the cert request. Now we got a set third one, and then we can describe that, and we have our certificate from that. Three easy ways to go and get certificates manually through a certificate object kind and deploying a simple app now through Ingress to get a certificate from EGBCA. We can see the secret from that too, just to check that out. Two secrets. And that wraps up how easy it is to go through and issue certs with Cert Manager and EGBCA integration. I mean, that was really quick. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to doing more this year. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.